All right, everyone, we are here with two very special guests. We are joined by the lovely Sistine and Sophia Stallone, Hi. our first in-studio, new studio guests. We are so excited to have you, ladies. It's been a while since we talked to you guys. I know. I know. This is the first time I'm meeting you guys in person. It's not true. I said that <laughs> they before. They were on our podcast. I oh, repeat, I, I, wait, in our series. Yes. Yes. I, re- <laughs> I repeated that twice to you before, and you still weren't picking up on it, and I was by like, this way, is awkward. Sophia has an issue like, where she doesn't actually listen to the things people are no, <laughs> this is going to be a very long show. And also, I have horrible memory. I, I, I actually have a pretty bad memory. Also, you said you, when you first hugged me, you were like, "It's so nice to meet you in person." I was like, "No." Sophia, she I was, was on like, your show. "I was like, yeah. no." We were on your <laughs> but, show, oh and you ignored God. me. And then you said it again, and I said, I'm "No, no, so no." Sorry. I was like, "No, we've been on your show." And then it just completely in one year out the other again. Uh, the only thing oh, I remember oh was being on your show doing yeah. Zoom. That's it. I don't remember. Sophia, like, I don't remember. You're making us you. look very bad. Right yeah, now. yeah. <laughs> it was honestly <laughs> about. I a, it was honestly about. Oh, listen, I'm just not remember. Like remember, I get I'm it. But horrible. it was about oh, a year God. ago. Like maybe. Yeah. In a week or so, like a year ago. I remember. Yeah. You don't exactly. remember. No. You're not I in do. your head. I you do. don't I remember do. this. She actually doesn't listen to anybody. <laughs> I don't listen to anybody. And that's it's the really problem. Annoying. My mom actually sent me when I was younger to a hearing specialist because I wouldn't hear what she was saying. And the doctor just said I was selective hearing. Yeah. <laughs> it was just, she was fine. Yeah. And I got in trouble. Yes. She didn't want to remember us. That's that kind of runs in my family, too. My mom is like that. Like, my, I'll, I'll tell her something. And she's like, well, you never asked me. And I was like, I asked you a month ago. Yep. You didn't, resp- yeah. like you didn't, mm-hmm. I-, I said yeah. it to your face. She's like, are you sure? I'm like, yeah, I'm sure I said it to you. Oh, <laughs> so God, bad. I'm disappointing. So we had a, listen, I thought we had a great time, but apparently not. I think you guys I remember were, what we talked about. Too. I think you guys were recording or filming for the reality show. Yeah, yeah we, we were. Oh yeah, you guys were also gonna, like, we did a whole, I don't even think that came on to air like for the final season. I think season. there's a, a but, B-roll cut of you yeah. Yeah. Signed yeah. papers and the whole thing I, yeah. for the so family wild. Stallone. It's gonna Ooh. be on Paramount Plus. Comes out May seventeenth. Mm-hmm. Are yeah. you guys excited? So different than I, I think anything you guys have done before. Yeah, I just, yeah we just took a huge breath. Yeah. I yeah. feel like um, I want to throw up, yeah, but same. I'm excited. The thing is, we've been shooting this for almost a year, and there's been so much, like so many hours, so much work put into it. I don't think we understood how much it was gonna be until yeah. we officially started filming so now that people are saying oh it's next week are you excited i'm like holy crap it's next yeah. week yeah. like oh my god i'm really nervous because i feel like a yeah. lot of our life we've been able to kind of control everything that we're doing which is like yeah. i mean with our podcast and our instagram you know you have a little bit of like you know you know what to put out there yeah, but yeah. this is really just giving everyone you know free will to see how we are behind yeah. scenes. But ahead, i don't think it's gonna be away. bad but I'm, I'm definitely nervous for like how it's going to shift a lot of things yeah. i have i feel like you guys have the family where it's like, oh, duh, they'll do a reality. Like, they'd be so yeah. good for a reality show. Right. Have you guys had that conversation oh, a yeah. bunch of times and, like, this is when you finally decided to do it? So yeah. many times we've been approached by pretty much every network to do yeah. it since we were 14. Mm-hmm. And my mom was really good at sort of holding us from the public. Just wait, 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 wait till they're ready, which... In- theory it was probably the right, right. thing to do mm-hmm. I think right now the timing sort of just felt right because you know we're grown my dad's at a point in his career where I think there's a stigma that you do a reality show when it's sort of like the downfall of your career and he goes well I'm actually at the height of it so why not you know enjoy it yeah. and showcase that process in the family but we've definitely and- gotten a lot of like criticism for oh like why would he do this why would the fi- oh like, I, yeah which has been oh, kinda, sure, which is yeah. of course like expected but for us, we were thinking this would be really fun to just do as a family together. Like we mm-hmm. already do the podcast mm-hmm. and people really loved when we had our dad on and our mom yeah. on. And we, oh, my dad used to post Instagram videos of us with the behind the scenes. And so we thought when we got approached, like this would be really fun to spend time together and do it. Like we're not throwing wine at each other's faces and we're probably not like <laughs> chopping off each other's hair or like causing yeah. serious drama. But that's why we kind of call it a docu-series because we, we, we figured s- it's describe kind of it like as the ultimate very home Demilio video. Show, yeah. you guys. Yes. <laughs> Who was at the forefront yes. of being being like, let's do this. I think us. you. We drove most, it. Yeah. Well, I well was, we were the ones who were approached first because of our yeah. podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we asked, we're like, oh, do you guys want to be a part of the show? Yeah. yeah. So we actually well, take like, Sly and Jen, if you want to be part of it, <laughs> yeah, our yeah, yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. Or we'll <laughs> they approach have us. You. <laughs> so you're lucky. But I think I definitely convinced everyone yeah. to do it. You guys already have a ton of followers everywhere. Where do you think that came from? Like, because it's. It oh. kind of Ugh. happened out of nowhere before the podcast, before all of that. Right. I mean, I mean, definitely Sly. Yeah, we're we're very that aware. Helps. <laughs> no, that helps. <laughs> we're yeah. not. Yeah. I think um, 
randomly a lot of our followers are international mm -hmm. so we mm -hmm. have a way bigger following outside of the u.s i think again whenever my dad or my mom or our family post of each other they just want to know and see more and more and more frankly i think what i post is quite boring so i don't know why i have yeah, so yeah. many followers <laughs> but it's now nice because i feel like a lot of our followers are because of the podcast and them getting to know yeah. us because we mm -hmm. never really had an idea of how to who we are like right. how do we promote who we are like mm -hmm. a lot of people are naturally good at it but we really didn't and so now it's like interesting when people come up to us and they're like oh we love your podcast in front of our dad we're like haha yeah <laughs> they, know they, know know. they don't even know who you are yeah, dad yeah. When, they, when they came up come up to you to say like i love your podcast do they turn to your dad at all they, he's no like, which is so shocking you know, shit, it's, <laughs> it is the most amazing humbling feeling and it, it just it, i love the look on his face because you know Whenever a young old person, yeah. he has every age group of fans. Yeah. When they come up to us and not my dad, and by the way, it really happens. But yeah, when yeah. it does happen, it has happened a handful it of times. It's so sweet. He probably is so proud of you guys, though. Oh yeah, yeah he is. For he sure. is. Like, he has great. to be excited about. Yeah, that. so for sure. excited. Now you guys, um, you live together now. Yeah. Yeah, we just moved in to New the York City. city. Mm -hmm. How does that work? Your sisters, you're together all the time, reality show, podcast, now you live together. Oh, What's the relationship like? I'll tell you, we, <laughs> we've lived together before when, okay. in LA oh. and it was horrible. The first, <laughs> the first night we moved in together, we didn't we even had sleep there yet. the worst fight of our entire life. And so then on out, we're like, I don't know if we can ever live together after this. So we didn't live with each other for a year. Yeah. And so once we decided, oh, let's move to New York. We knew it would be smarter mm -hmm. to live together because it's such a big city and we didn't really know that many people. We were terrified because we do everything together. It, like There is a lot of on top of each other. Our family actually made a bet how long they think we could last. <laughs> yeah, they didn't even really. think we could get through a year. So far, it's been great. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that was See, We have like, not fought. We've, we've been pretty good. We've been great. Yeah, like, we've been we've good. delegated tasks. I think we're... <laughs> what, who's, whose tasks are who? Oh, God. Well, it kind of switches off. I'm the coffee person. So. I got mad at her the other day because she didn't take out the trash. Yeah. And then <laughs> Typical. I, yeah, I Typical, know. Typical, like, right? She wipes on the counters. Because she wasn't I'll listening. The, I, I don't listen. The issue. Yeah. I don't listen. But we've we've been pretty good yeah. on top of each other with that. Why did you guys want to move to New York? Because I feel like, I don't know, Rhea and I see so many people who live in New York who are like, we're we're moving to LA, like we're yeah. out of here. And oh, I God, feel like we don't see, we haven't felt like, I don't know, I don't feel like a lot of people have been like, I'm moving to New York. Recently, yeah, yeah. I think it's I just I feel like it's the opposite. Like if you grow up in L.A., you get sick of L.A. and mm, you want a different course. scenery. And then if you yeah. grow up in New York, you're like, I need something different. I totally. mean, grass is always greener, right? But yes. I can confidently say the grass is greener in New York. Yeah, I no, we love, love it. it we just you know what it was is we definitely needed to change for one thing. And we'd always visit New York and we're like, we feel like we know L.A. And it's like, you know what it is? Uh, socially, the, people only go out. And Sassine said this mm -hmm. to me like a couple hours ago. People only go out for like birthdays or a celebration yeah. of some sort. Like here, you'll go out on a Tuesday and they're like, OK, let's just get dinner. Let's go out yeah. after. Yeah, like yeah. there's not you don't need to schedule a whole LA is night good. to go it's out. It's just so slow and boring. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I was like, why is it that I'm 24? I'm in bed by nine o'clock with my melatonin. Yeah. And it's, I'm living like an old person. Yeah. Like yeah, I want to yeah. have fun and. Um, I, I was We're telling you guys now, so right off like camera. Yeah, I just broke up with my, not just, but like right before the move, I broke up with my boyfriend. I was like, you know what? There's no better restart than totally new in a city. Yeah. And it's been great. And we haven't been single together at the, for a while at the same time. So yeah. yeah. What's the dating scene like for you guys? Are you guys on apps? You just meet people out, DMs? Oh my God. I'm All of the above. Of <laughs> I don't really know if I can, I feel like I'd just be so bad Sophia at it. Sophia actually was on an app. I don't think you lasted 24 hours and then you deleted no, it. No, I lasted two hours and then now I changed my profile to just my dog Buster and <laughs> it's private. So if anyone actually sees me, it's not me. Yeah, it's not you. It's um, just a dog. I deleted it. <laughs> yeah, I'm like waiting for it to expire. Why it. did you delete it? She Were you just it, like, yeah. this is so like, yeah, so I got it on anxiety. it like two weeks yeah. ago. I was like, you know what? I'm single. Like, let me just try it out. And I was going through the options. I'm like, it's no. making me depressed. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm reading the bios. Yeah. I'm seeing the photos. Sophia like, actually oh, no. spent more time building her profile than yeah. actually. Yeah, it was it so up. much fun building it. I loved <laughs> answering the questions and like. You she's haven't like, been on a date though here. No. I think I've been dating too much here. <laughs> I'm getting burnt out. Yeah. Like I, I do at least it's two or funny. three. It's funny. I live vicariously through all of her dates. Two or three a week. Yes. Seriously. I'm coming in hot lately. <laughs> That's. <laughs> I am like. Oh I'm my god. god. Who are the type of guys? I can't get ready that many days a week. Me neither. It's quite easy to lock me down. A stranger on the street approached me. I go. Sure, why not? 
people at the gym. You went out with a stranger on the street. I did. Yeah, straight up. That actually, actually was straight up. It was in that's the, that was crazy. It was 1 p.m. and he just runs outside. He's like, "Can I just take you out, basically?" I and said, she goes, okay. and you're and you're like, "That's romantic," but and at the same time, no. kind of crazy. And I've been in bed since 9:30. I wait for her to come home at like 12. Yeah, I mean, you gotta have some safety chair. precautions put into place I there. I just feel <laughs> like, why are you in Central Park at 1 in the morning? <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. I was like, oh, we're having fun. <laughs> I know it's so oh good. No, yeah, I just. I, I want to say yes to things because I think I said no to everything and I was so mm-hmm. introverted before and I was like, yeah, I got to get out there. What's uh, What was the mistake of the stranger? Why was that a mistake? Well, well like <laughs> a lot of men that seem to come into our path, they date us for the wrong reasons. Yeah. Yeah. So I yeah. soon found out that he only liked me because of the last name or mm, the whole thing. He heard thing. the reality show was So I out. said, yeah. you, you yeah. out. Done. Yeah. Done. Ghosted. I know. Damn. Yeah, it's okay. On to the next. But it's that's why you're probably like, I need to date a bunch of people because you'll find out who's there for the right reasons. Right, exactly. exactly. But it is kind of just fun. How can you tell when somebody's like there for the right reasons versus wrong reasons? Because at you the end of the day- You probably know people's tells. Oh, right. there, and there also at the tell. end of the day, like, majority of the people are going to know your dad but right. not everybody's going to be interested in you for your dad exactly. like you guys are beautiful great oh, people hey, like without that <laughs> so there are going to be p- people who are interested in you for you but for how sure. do you decide that there's well, a few there's a few flags. things i would say the first thing we always say is if they bring up our dad or any of his movies within the first date it's kind of weird like we don't yeah. want to mm-hmm. talk about you know it's like it's like what, what if i brought up your dad right oh so he's really good in accounting like <laughs> yeah, i yeah. love his work or like it's just like, kind of weird oh yeah. your dad is sylvester right like yeah, yeah. Like, or they act like they don't know, know. Yeah, yeah exactly yeah, yeah. i've had a guy bring his resume on a first date i've had a guy bring a script yeah. i was like do you want to date me or sly like, and I, where yeah. are we going <laughs> and i think the best thing is that yeah. because you know we're so close and we do talk to people mm-hmm. and i feel like the world is so small so mm-hmm. someone will know the person that you're kind of seeing yeah and every time we'll find out what they're saying behind the scenes and we're like okay see that's what happened with this guy on the street I was like, oh, New York is very small. So he's been running his mouth. I'm a sneaky person. I ask around. I'm watching her or watching for her. So that is crazy that just a random guy in the street you can place with somebody like yeah. this person knows that person why yeah it is a small world I feel like it usually does small. happen yeah. somebody knows somebody it is small. Yeah. even though new york like new york has so many people but just because like manhattan really is very small it so is. it's like you always run into people i i can't like be in the west village on a saturday without seeing nine million people that i know like yes. in a block it's so true. it's yes. you always see people well, everybody yeah. always knows what's and going in on. new york there's more women than men and then half of those people are married mm-hmm. and then name a percentage that are, are in our dating age range right. like mm-hmm. it's so small so the options are limited and i just don't know where i'm going to find someone because yeah. i feel like it's going to go through her I feel like, yeah. what, what, are, what super- are the qualities you're looking for like in a good oh, guy God. Ooh. i like someone ambitious that someone has something for themselves that they're really passionate yeah. about not a script that they're bringing not a script actually was a bad script we too, always I, 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 I <laughs> like, let, say, let me at least check this yeah. out <laughs> yeah something. exactly someone that's nice and funny i think we're big personalities so i that love keep up with us a little bit Same. i'm gonna you say know? the love island i love the banter yeah yeah okay. yeah I, I need someone that can bounce off of me we yeah. can get serious but also be silly yeah i always think Emotionally that i have to date a little bit older just because finding that in a 24 year old boy is a little bit yeah. Especially in New York City, fresh out of college. Exactly. Yeah. Just like they're still in the frat stage. And this right. place is a playground. I feel like it can be any age and still be 24 forever. And mm-hmm. that's yes. the freaky part. I'm like, okay, how do you find the 35 year old that doesn't act like he's 18? Yeah. What are the What are the ranges of the guys you've been on dates with? You're going out two, three times a week. Like, I mean, you got that's only that's you got to be getting good variety. Uh, honestly, the variety has been spectacular. Yeah. How did you fit this press in? I don't know. <laughs> she has one tomorrow. I actually, yeah, that's tomorrow is a busy day. For you, you oh, said no. 4:30 in the morning. You got to wake up. 4:30 in the You're morning, and then I have a date she at 7:30. You don't I need to cancel. Oh my it. god! <laughs> I you guys, I can't cancel this one. This, this she's is excited. A, this oh, you're big really oh, this this is a good one. This is one that we'll has ask been you have to tell us after. <laughs> and it's been brewing for months, and we're finally in the same city. So it's like you gotta oh. commit. I'm so excited. About you gotta this commit. One. Okay. Oh my god! I mean, all the guys that they've all been sort of different ages, from 25 to 28. I they're all this, like different jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. One's yeah. artsy, one, but they all look different too. I don't know. I'm just saying yes too much. I, I'm spreading I myself. I love a that thin. though. Like I, 
I don't know. I have like I like to see what my friends are mm -hmm. doing too now. Like I just had a friend recently become single, and she's kind of in that phase also, yeah. where she's just like, I'm saying yes to dates. I'm going out yeah. with the, like I got a bartender's number. I go doing that. Like I, I met not? like somebody Why that we not? knew in yeah. college. Like kind of came back in, and we yeah. were like, so I'm watching her do that. I'm like, wow, she she is having fun doing it, and I do yeah. like to go on the apps and like see. But then also my friends send me some terrifying profiles oh, they're oh, just freaky. like so but have freaky. you been seeing this a lot of my friends that have been dating their boyfriends for four or five years all breaking up with them i've yeah. had like four of single like summers my coming. uh sister's been dealing with that right now mm -hmm. like with oh. her friends oh it's oh, her, her too but oh, also okay. her friends yeah. yeah but she i don't know she was she was like mercury's in retrograde all these that's all these, yeah. all these, the other all these guys are just like breaking up with their girlfriends i also yeah. think that's around the time though where you like figure out where you're like eh. yeah like yeah. you well, probably yeah. should have broken up way sooner and now that. this is going on for too long well, yeah. girls like, also break up in their head months before that yeah 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 yep. yep. mm -hmm. that's true yeah mm -hmm. and i think like once you hit five you cut four or five like you either know like this is i'm sticking it out mm -hmm. like this yeah. is the long haul or like this isn't right. This isn't exactly, yeah, exactly. So, but it's funny. But, I've been dating the. But it has happened in, in a. In it happens in waves. It happens in a lot waves. right now. Literally, yeah. everyone is single right now. How is you said the last thing you want to do is be in a relationship, but it'll come. But I keep dating. Yeah, but yeah. you keep dating, but it'll just come right. Yeah. Like when you don't, that will be the best part because yeah. that's when you know you'll you really like. Somebody. So did exactly. you guys film dates for the show? We. <laughs> oh, this is fun. There is an episode where um I. I, I ended things with my ex and it talks about just the long distance was hard and things yeah. like that and I we went up to like a girls night out with all my friends and we dressed up I was definitely not ready for it and I see a cute guy sitting I wanted the bar. to kill her so honest. I bring him over you see how uncomfortable I am like I'm not someone that I need my sister to go out and like grab them and pull them you like, wouldn't do it yeah because I wasn't yeah. wanting to <laughs> I was sad yeah he was too pretty too and I was he like was LA he pretty was very, boy. Yeah, yeah. very pretty. Um, but yeah, you definitely see that stuff in it. I find that to be so interesting because mm -hmm. you have to ha find a guy who like will generally wants to go on a date with you, but then you have to be like, so can you like sign this release form? And they <laughs> don't. And yeah, literally, I'm like, our exes. It's funny because I talk about mine in season one as if we're still together because yeah. we were, but they they didn't want to do it respectfully, so because yeah. they didn't yeah. sign up for it, but. It is kind of a weird line that we sort of have to teeter. Like, do they want to be on TV? Do right. they, yeah. they want to just support me? So you got to we'll figure, figure it, it out. out. It's almost easier to have no one. But <laughs> I really think it'd be fun to do like we pick each other's blind dates or someone thinks that, that would be that fun. Would be and right. then you guys can have a spin off show like like Polly and Vinny on the Jersey Shore. Oh my God. Double shot at love. Do you guys have any summer plans? Like now that you're in New York City, are you guys going to go to the Hamptons and all that? I, we've never done that before. I've I never wish. done that before, we but we're, we're shooting. Plans. So she, no, she's doing a film. She's a producer on a film. Oh, that yeah. she wrote. Oh. My summer plans, I'll be in North Carolina. Yeah, exactly. I'll be visiting Muggy. Her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'll be hot. I know, so I know. Bad. But it's going to be just working, and yeah. it's going to just be probably in the city, which is kind of annoying because everyone's out of town during August. Yeah, so people, people leave. Yeah, people, people leave on the weekends. Yeah. It empties oh. out in the city. Do you guys go to the Hamptons? Is that what no. you do? No, we're, we're in various <laughs> locations. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Jersey Shore, Long Island. Long Island. Ooh, Sometimes in the city during the weekend, you know. Yeah. But there are still up, places up on, that, on the Cape. Okay. You know, we have our places that we love to go to that are probably still going to be packed on the weekend. Yeah. Right. Because a club is a club. And yeah. Yeah. people are still gonna I know, go. I feel like we just moved here. I don't want to leave. Like I, just yeah. I know we want to experience. It might be it. nice though that you yeah. guys can like. It won't be too packed. I mean, yeah, everybody does true. talk about how it's people, like right. Yeah. It's New way City. easier to get a dinner reservation. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Thank God. It's been impossible yes. to get. Why is that so hard? So yeah. hard to it's get it. So hard. It's actually one of the biggest things that bothers me about the city these mm -hmm. days is that there's all these restaurants that you see online, right? And you're like, oh my God, new restaurant, bad Roman. That's yeah. one that yep. I'm like, have my eyes on. I'm pissed at right now. You just can't get a reservation. <laughs> oh, bad Roman. Oh, bad Roman looks great. You just can't. The ravioli on top of the steak. Yeah. Like, I want it's just so like bad. an appetizer of pepperoni right slices. yes yeah. and Fabulous. you can't get a reservation yeah. like we're why? big foodies like we will literally track every single place we want to go to and we would review it we're we'll, a big foodie mm -hmm. i'm a huge foodie yeah i, I should have just said that yeah. yes <laughs> <laughs> like, we she are all the work for the reservation. i know but i love a good restaurant but it's Same. impossible Same. to get yeah. in and i have like all of these resi notifications i know you turn like, all the nice alerts on with someone i'm like dying to go back to laser wolf like i love that one i think it's in brooklyn yes yes i have someone one of my friends just went there too i have a 
I have one friend that's really good at like when the reservations open, she's on top of it. Yeah. And yeah. you need to have one person that's I, like that. That's Sophia. I know. And that's why like if once I start going on dates, because I used to do this when I was single, is with the guy when he whatever place he chooses, I'll be I'm definitely picky. I'm like, oh, he chose that place. Like yeah. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not asking you to take me to Sophia, like a five actually, star. Michelin. You're like nine AM fourteen days in advance. Yeah, and have then to I will choose yeah. exactly what I want to order. Sophia before actually I what date, we were so. talking about the other day. She was like I wish I was a dude and then I could date me because I know the perfect restaurant. Yes, I don't know where to take I myself. know the vibe. I know the sexiest bar. <laughs> oh, I have pre like requirements for a restaurant. Not I don't tell the guy, but mm. I'm like, yeah, it has to be dim lit so that my makeup doesn't look cakey after like a couple like, hours. I, don't, I want it to be so dark you don't even see me. Yeah. I want a good like, cocktail so perfect lighting. I want really good like pasta and food mm -hmm. that I can eat, but nothing that smells too bad. <laughs> right. See, and then it has to be a good location. It's a Sorry. lot of I, it. Like it's a lot. I don't know if it's a lot. I feel like these are pretty standard requirements. Like Thank just you. good food, good environment. Look, I'll, I'll eat and I'll drink anywhere. If okay. you take me anywhere, And the majority out, of the places in New York are like yeah, that. I yeah. Feel like, now, know, I see York. a lot of people saying, and I feel like it's split. Like some people will say they will eat on a first date or they won't eat on a first I, date. Where do you guys stand? I on always that? eat. Do you mean getting. <laughs> dinner like, and you don't right. eat like they yeah like you, you go say we're meeting at a restaurant oh we're eating yeah. we're eating if we're but, getting a, a meeting at a bar getting a well drink. i'm a lightweight i can't have one cocktail and nothing like i see <laughs> yeah. the bowl of bread i'm like i'm gonna throw up if i don't have like another i drink. know yeah. that yeah. happened like, to me actually food. the other night because he's like oh let's meet at this bar for a drink so we're at a mexican restaurant i'm two cocktails and i go i gotta get some queso yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I, and, and, <laughs> and he was like i'm not hungry so i was eating alone oh which was come on the guy didn't have some chips and queso i know you're not the whole thing what? I feel like you're always hungry for chips and queso. Always, you can and always have room, walk. no matter how not hungry you are. You I can always agree. have chips. Bring the bread basket. I'll have all of that. Right. You don't have to feed me the guitar. I know. Oh. I kind of would be turned off by that guy. <laughs> I, if yeah. he's like, I'm not having chips and queso. I, I know. I'm I like, actually totally. At... I'm already turned yeah. off by him. Yeah. That's like, what? What do you don't eat? Yeah. Like, exactly. What you don't he's eat? He's like, I'm not hungry. I'm watching my figure. Like it's eight o'clock. That's also another thing. Of course you're hungry. Yeah. Is that in LA? Everyone would take you to restaurants. Here it's always drinks, and then you go to a restaurant if you. Like but I kind of like that because if you don't like it, you can just do yeah. it. Yeah, I know. It, and it does make like the whole night kind of a fun activity. But yeah. I feel like in, I never really thought about it that much until I was, until like I really got into it with my boyfriend. Now, maybe after a year, I was like, thank God we enjoy food. Yeah. Like I, because yeah. then I see I'm like, it. you know, yes. some people, some people <laughs> yeah. have their dietary restrictions, which are their choices or due to like reasons yeah. they actually have to some it's you know it's a scale yeah. some, yeah, some yeah, it's like know. in between 100%. where you're like do you but this is so when we like sit down I'm like thank god and he's, he says yeah. the same thing too he's like I we'd have an issue like if we yeah. didn't mm -hmm. it's you a know? love language yeah, actually totally I, think is. I just saw a TikTok of you and your boyfriend eating McDonald's yeah McDonald's review oh. in London and I <laughs> loved it I was like see this is love yeah. Yeah. this is a relationship yeah. I want to be in we can bond over food yeah. oh. and it's it, like you said like you just don't well, of course you want to respect other people mm -hmm. but at the same time that can get that can get tricky it yeah. is tricky it is tricky. like it i could love someone people, but yeah. if they can't yeah, exactly. share like if they can't share a meal with me I'd yeah be like, i'm a big that's what we do <gasps> every time we order that's together weird, order we order same whatever whatever yeah. we want but we order like three more things to share yeah like, okay we have order. to have i have to have a little bite she the is the biggest she loves she loves to over order because she likes that's to have a little, I like a little bit we're going we're going we're going to dc tonight for our show and i already booked a reservation for this oh, wait, tapas where? place Ooh. um Ooh. do you know what the name barcelona is? I've heard of that. And it's so good. And I'm yeah. like, I love that because you could just have a Can little bit a little, of everything. Yeah. That's why yeah. I Do you guys ever see the TikToks where it's like a girl being like, I asked my boyfriend to get ice cream and he said he doesn't want any. What? No, <laughs> that's that's it. It's just disrespect. That's so disrespect. It's like that, if I'm getting ice cream, just eat the fucking ice cream. Like if I'm getting salad, please, please get the burger or the fries right, or the pasta. I need some of that. Because I want that. <laughs> like that's I know. I saw, this, I saw this guy break down that whole theory. Like if the girl says, I'm not hungry she's hungry if she says let's get ice cream she's not saying she only wants it she's saying for you to say yeah. i want it too yeah. like mm -hmm. even if you don't want it he's like get it it's just disrespectful yeah. it is disrespectful. yeah, yeah. <laughs> come, come on guys no so definitely bad. but now mm -hmm. aren't you guys spend a lot of time in florida also we do our parents live over there yeah, yeah. which has been really nice which That's, is nice i mean it's a way easier to get to florida so from new york nice. that was definitely part of the reason why we moved because we're yeah. like we want to yeah. be all on the east coast because scarlet mm -hmm. goes to school there and my parents yeah. live there and there it's funny enough since we've moved here my parents never come to new york they've been here 
four times they won't since leave we us moved alone. here in March. <laughs> they it's will so not. easy it's to come crazy. from Florida. Our parents oh, yeah. are in Florida too, which is funny. We yeah. did the bounce back from New York to Florida. And it's just, I, they always joke around that they see me more yeah. Yeah. Um, in Florida than they do on Long Island. Like when see, they come home, wild. meanwhile it's right here because I'm just like, I just want to be, be in nice weather. <laughs> exactly. It's so true. And the weather there is perfect. Mm -hmm. We love it there. I don't ever yeah. see myself going back to LA. Like yeah. I think I'm gonna either East Coast raise girl. my family in the I East know. Coast, maybe Connecticut. Yeah, maybe I'll get a farm in Texas. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just never going back to Los Angeles. I can't stand the people. I can't stand yeah just everything the culture. About it. And everything. Yeah. yeah, we're so over it. I feel like you just kind of maybe you know you can grow out of it yeah i you feel do. like every time we've talked to you guys though that's kind of been the case where you guys i know like, you guys have always like, been so like we hate la no that's the thing is like, people think that we're just saying we that were losers <laughs> no one like no us. no it's not no friends I, listen we get it though because listen we've never lived in la and we really mm -hmm. haven't spent like that large amount of time there mm -hmm. but every time we've been there i've been in a situation where i'm uncomfortable with just yeah. like how people act like yeah. i'm just like you're so rude and uh -huh. tight like yeah well you know everyone they don't care oh they only care if you have like a major status like seriously there's always a situation where i'm just like fuck these well, people yep. every single person that's on tv always ends up within when the show ends they're like okay moving to la like within yeah. the month yeah. and so it's like everyone's there for their own i mean look totally teach yeah. their own like go yeah. do your get your bag but you know everyone's doing it for work and getting press and you know someone told that, me so. that and i don't know if this is true or not but someone said that people who can't make it in new york move to la Ooh. <laughs> damn <laughs> spice you know <laughs> but if they, yeah, say you can make it in new york you can make it anywhere uh, that is I what will, they say i will acknowledge <laughs> this that? though Who's this? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Who is it's this? a Fra frank sinatra now yeah. oh yeah great yeah isn't that the Alicia song? Keys. If you can okay, make Alicia it Keys. there, I, she's my god. Um, anywhere, I will <laughs> sing it, girl. Yeah. yeah, I'll acknowledge though that like, because when we talk about L LA, it's a very blanket statement, and people are like, "Well, you're hanging out with the wrong people," and that is true. Like, yeah. I am sure a majority of people in LA are lovely in California, yeah. but yes, when we go, we are going for work most of the time. Exactly. So we are yeah. around those influencer exactly. type people. Same and house. then right. you realize, so it's yeah. like, that's not like a blanket statement over no, California no, no. My, in general. Best, we friends, are hanging yeah. out with probably the wrong crowd. No, <laughs> my best friends are in LA because I went to USC. Yeah. And so I have yeah. so many girlfriends there that I like would die for. Like, so I, yeah. there are good people. High school there are friends, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. My, my Valley school friends. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but going out there, yeah, it's brutal. Are your friends gonna visit you now in New York? Are they jealous? Do yeah, they want to be in New York now? My friends that live in LA Mine all moved from here. East Coast. Yeah. yeah. Mine all moved to New York. Yeah, actually, you, I can see you guys being East, well, you are now, but like East Coast girls. Well, I just don't know Thank what the you. reason That's is the best for us. compliment. It might just be the Italian like, it nature could be the Italian that I'm thinking about. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just don't see the reason to go back. A lot of people you know? say, though, to us, um, you look like you're from LA. Yeah. And I'm like, is that a complete It's because insult? we wear a lot of makeup. I don't know. And we wear like our hair big and we kind of go, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that either. You guys are so kind. That's the first time we've ever heard that. No, I, 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 I'll take I, it. It's fine. And I can't tell if that's an insult or not. Maybe it's just because I, I know you guys are Italian that I just see you guys as like Italian goddesses. Like, I, yeah. I don't, I don't you see better you. better stop before I kiss you. You better stop your Hey, mouth. we'll get views. You and look. You want to take me on a date yeah. next? I know. Come uh, on. What's your situation? I'm so yeah, down. Yeah. So down. We'll get a meatball. We'll get a bad Roman. I'll tell my boyfriend he has to sit on the side for a second while Absolutely. we do our own food review. Yeah. No, we're going to have spaghetti yep. in each of our mouths. The whole thing. <laughs> yeah, totally. And I won't can, bring a script. New York, like I'm sure, new, like New York. I just think you can so, it's way easier just walk down the street and nobody. Yeah, gives so, a shit and it's easy. funny since we moved here, we're trying to have like a different personality. Yeah, yeah, so seen it, yeah. We it made a list the of the best things. So people, see, no, like, the you, person we want to be. Yeah, oh, yeah I did. you made a list of her like <laughs> fuck yes, fuck no's, but and it's yeah. so funny. Like she's like, I want to change my new drink to be like a cause. I want to start like, drinking dirty martinis. Yeah, ju jump on the bandwagon. I just picked up on it last year. I mean, she, always, so she always drank dirty martinis, so chic. extra dirty blue cheese olives. And I was like, I fucking love blue olives. Cheese. Let Depends me try this. Yeah, we got you. I was like, let me try this dirty martini Good steakhouse, thing. Blue because cheese I'm, olives, I'm a big right? olive yeah. gal. Great. See? Except let me tell you, what? you'll get really fucked up. Like what? I because realized, it's, yeah, it's, no it's just vodka. <laughs> and yeah. so I realized like one, I'm really tipsy. Two, if I drink any more, I had a night last summer that uh -oh. I still gives me shivers uh -oh. <laughs> where I went to dinner and I had two dirty martinis and I was feeling awesome. And then we were bouncing around from like a club to another club, then a bar. 
I completely blacked out, no. but I drank the same amount at like the clubs and the bars that I usually would. Right. And I was like, what happened? And I was like, the it was those damn martinis Terrible that I was. had before that. But that's no. what I, I like. Feel good though. Yeah, you, you gotta like the, cut yourself off. Yeah, to, like to, to a dinner martinis. though before a night yeah. out, mm. then you don't drink as much when you're out that's yeah. the rest of the night. Which that's is the secret. We do the yeah. special martinis with tequila. See, I just, yes. oh, just not tequila. I'm a child. Oh, you're not tequila. I hate olives. No, I, I hate I, vodka. So why yeah. am I uh, trying to make this my order? I love vodka. Can't do tequila because you know when you just have that bad mm. night. I get um, it. Tequila. If I smell it. Mm. We've been we, yeah. in Sophia, situations. Did you say you do gin? I'm trying to do gin. Now. Yeah, gin. gin, gin I, okay, gin, gin, gin is classy. Gin is. I still can't get around. I to went, gin. Some of adult. my friends do gin martinis. <laughs> I did in front of my mom, and she goes, "Excuse me." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> really I'm trying just, to impress. My boyfriend's a gin martini guy. And I'll, I'll take a sip every once in a while. And I'm like, still not for me. <laughs> not for you. And I'm not trying not to get me. into it, but I like it. But I swear, this is the thing. When you get into alcohol that you don't usually drink. It affects your body way faster. Oh my oh, god! So, so don't even drink sake. Totally forget it. I drank Sucky one. Would fuck anybody up. Whoa. Whoa. I get yeah. so drunk off of one gym. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is that's happening? That's kind of the goal. Though. I know. Well, yeah. that's you yeah. know, you just cy- you just cycle through it. It's like you. I know. You, you know what I've new... learned is such a New York drink, and I've never had one until I moved here. An Aperol spritz. Why is everyone I don't drinking like Aperol? I'm not I an Aperol spritz. spritz. I do love Aperol no. spritzes. I don't um, like the taste. I don't, it's very well. I it's very it European. Road. Yeah. And oh. like, I think we've tried to tried to adopt like the aperitivo Italian yeah. four o'clock yes. Aperol spritz that's and me. peanuts yeah. like kind yeah. of vibe. So you go to these places in New York and that's like what they like to have, especially yeah. so many of those places in the West Village where they do, yes. yeah. you can like sit outside, you right. have a I wine bar, I'm, I'm have an Aperol road. spritz. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I did it on Saturday where the weather was so nice. It was perfect. You I have to. It took me yeah. a while though and it's the same kind of thing. The first time I had an Aperol spritz, I was like, yuck, hate this. <laughs> I did too, I hate it. I was it. like, this yeah. is bitter and gross. Like, yeah. I don't know why. Yeah. Um, but it's my my mom's favorite and then like she would always make it in the summer. Ugh, it's and nice. I, every, I would tr- retry it. Yeah. And then like maybe the fourth or fifth time I tried it yeah. again, I was like, okay, I actually like it. It's kind of like time to grow up. Let's yeah, exactly. Like I just can't get yeah. on board with that. But I appreciate the way it looks yeah. and how you look yes. when you're drinking it. It looks yeah. very cool. I just can't get on board with the taste. And yeah. there's yeah. something totally. about a little like the the bubbly tipsy yeah. hits different mm. when you're drinking the bubbles, it does. you know? It does, so it, does. it does. Have you ever ordered a drink different on a date just to impress the person? Yes. Yes. To be like cooler? Whiskey I've done that. sour. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I ordered what? a bourbon. I was what? like, what? who am I? They're like, you like bourbon? I'm like, I don't, but what am I doing? Just, yeah, I'll just take a scotch on the yeah. rocks. And also, I'm like, so hungover <laughs> like, do you have a cigar day? back there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I literally don't, because like, I always feel shitty being like, oh, can I have a margarita? Like, it's just, everyone gets a margarita. Actually, I was just going to mention how much I love margaritas. I said I don't like tequila. Love but Mars. margarita mm. yeah like spicy. an old fashioned no, that's, if that's I actually cool. what I did when I was at Central Park at one in the morning <laughs> with the bad guy wait the bad I had, guy. I had burgers, I'm glad wi- made it two whiskey carrots. sours, and then he actually pulled a cigar out of his pocket. So I was puffing a cigar. I'm like, what <laughs> am oh I? Like, God. I don't even She's, recognize myself. I know, myself. I was like, it is 12. And of course, I'm up tracking her in my You have yeah. the location. <laughs> you need that in no, your you city. No, you absolutely do. I, I do. will say, have the locations on. But I'm to your point, like, I, I adjust for the man. Like, yeah, she, I will. You have to, just for a night. Do I? Do I? Yeah, that was a bit much. You definitely don't need to be drinking whiskey sours. No. Or smoking a cigar. He was like, oh, you're Stallone's daughter. Here's a cigar. Like, that should have been dying. your number one sign. Yeah, yeah. See, honestly, see, that he broke see, out a see. cigar. Because we that can, was so random. Because we can like, smoke cigars. We know how to do it, but we probably shouldn't do it on dates. I've never done it on a date. I don't know. Hey, <laughs> you could do it on dates. But then you smell. What if I pulled out a cigarello and I was like, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just a full pack of cigarettes. <laughs> you like, mind? I ordered like an old fashioned with a cigarello. I'm like, He's like, Who is this? Like, yeah. be like, literally, this scarab. is not LA. I'm like, I'm taking you out. <laughs> oh my God. I love this whole New York City era for you guys. I do. I'm not lie. I, I, f- I know. I, could I, just say, feel I feel like, like we're probably boring you people. Guys, like, no, people who don't live in no, New York that are listening to this are no, like, I'm like feeling like the energy from you guys. You know what? I think that if you're ever in life where you feel like you're just, settling or you feel like you know everyone you're doing all or the same things or you could things. be doing more i'm telling you just change it like yeah. completely shock your core cuz i'm for us like we've done so many things in the last year where it was not the same as it used mm-hmm. to be and we've just found so many different avenues and friends and 
situations and chaos and it's just the best yeah. type of thing so i think the one thing if people are trying to get out of this about you know our transition to new york is to seriously do something that you would never and expect start to do. saying yes to more things yeah because i would always talk myself out of plans with people because like, like i'm 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 trying to say yes to more things yeah, and like, i get like invited yeah. to things and i'm always like oh, i'm tired no i i need to like force myself yeah to not, like, i'm the same things. way because yeah. it's not so much i know when i get there i'm so happy that i'm there yeah i'm having a great time yep. it's more like where am i gonna park where yeah. like yeah. how many you're hours worried about every get, like, little thing yeah. Yeah. so dumb i saw at least you don't have to drive when you're in New yeah York. exactly <laughs> two things actually <laughs> sophia that advice that you just gave i basically gave that advice at you our did, you show. did they asked us um for each of us to go around and give like our life advice yeah. and my life advice for, for was some that it's, it's good advice it's never too it. late to make a change it's yeah. never like, too late it doesn't true. matter how i hate the oh i'm old i'm old you're yeah, not old it doesn't yeah. matter how old you are you could change your life at any I'm point i'm 27 this year and, and i totally then, felt that way i was like am i feeling like i'm old all my friends are getting engaged no. you better and shut up i know yeah. you are 26 <laughs> years old no i'm still young but it does take like a, and i'm someone that overthinks things i'm not naturally a person She's a planner. First. i'm a planner i like knowing what i'm going to do the next day and this is the first time in my life I'm doing something totally different and there's so many times where even mm -hmm. the podcast came up because we had like a shock to our system and we're like let's just do it and now yeah. here we are today like yeah. we're sitting with you guys like it's yes. like it would never happen if we didn't mm -hmm. do like x y and z it's great advice yeah um and then the next thing was I saw Kel uh, Kelsey Kreppel uh, a clip from her podcast the other day where she was like if you give me a situation I can tell you exactly what to worry about in that situation <gasps> situation Ooh. and I was like yep I've yeah. been there like she was like I worry for other people. I'm like, have you thought about this? Have you thought about that? Yeah. I'm like, I relate to that. Like, yeah. I, I can think of every single mm -hmm. situation. In which it could go good, a, bad. Right. Yes. Every single part of it. 100%. Yeah. But why am I doing that? Right. Like, yeah. why? I don't know. For what? But I also, you know what else? Whatever what happens, same? happens. Right? That's, well, for me, whenever I Live in I the Vita Loca. <laughs> yeah. <over here. laughs> whenever I just throw out yeah. sayings and hope it stays. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I'm definitely not going to preach, practice anything <laughs> right now. But, no, but whenever I overthink things, I think the best thing I always do to myself is go what's the worst that can happen mm -hmm. okay if i say death yes probably don't do yeah, it yeah. <laughs> but like if it's really not that big yeah. of a deal and yeah like maybe i hate okay, the city then. and it gets sad okay then what what take away the dog photos and put your profile back up what's the worst that could happen Death. Oh. <laughs> she just used it. Like, she just used it against you. I know. You. I know. Usually, the worst thing in your head never happens. Exactly. So and true. if it does happen, you've already thought of it. Yeah. Totally. You already prepared yourself. I know. <laughs> what about double dates? Will you guys double date? We oh actually. That's God. how we met. That's how I met my so most current. The guy ex. that left me eating queso alone said he has a friend for Sophia, and I think mm. we're gonna go on our first New know. York double date. <laughs> That's only I haven't that's been only on where wait a though, second. Right? Let's backpedal to the we like the guy that's uh, said he wasn't hungry at dinner. Oh yeah, you gave because I'm out, I'm I already out not, on she's him. She's not convincing see, me. I'm also, already out on him and I don't and I do, the chips. and that <laughs> means I don't think he's got a good recommendation for Sophia. I, I, you know, I don't know how to date. I haven't dated in a year and I'm, I don't even know if I'm so ready. Yet. It's always like sticky though when somebody's like, "I have a friend for you." You automatically go like, "I just want to find these people myself." Yeah, that's how I feel. I was maybe I should cancel. I already said yes. But also, <laughs> what's the worst that can happen? Right. Uh, you don't always, like him? Exactly. You never gonna see him again. And then it's a funny story for your podcast. That's, that's literally what we also, said. I already like, know this. Great when we go on double dates, she always calls me out how bad I am on double dates or how She's bad at flirting so I am. Cringy. It's, you guys. And she always like and that's everybody is she, though if you no, watch them flirt. You know what so, I mean? I know. She touches her hair like every four seconds. Okay, oh, I've been doing it now. This is the same. <laughs> but you know, you're funny. I love going. I basically like, stare deep in your eyes. I think we date each other because we talk too much. Yeah, we do. The guys don't even know. Well, this is the problem. Have you ever been on a date where you say? Oh, that's a great date. And then you think, wait, I was the funny one talking the whole time and I was great on the date, but he didn't say anything. And then all of a sudden like You were like, I had a great performance. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I did a really good job. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Was it a good date or I just am a great dater? Yeah. <laughs> you know? I always see people saying that, like, um, when people talk about dating online, they're like, before you are wondering if he likes you, do you like him? Yes, <laughs> that's exactly what it is. I don't. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Do you ask yourself, you're like, wait a second. It's, 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 I always have to ask myself, like, do I like him or is he just tall? Do mm. I like him or am I just bored? And that sounds bad, but I think a lot of the time when you're dating around or you're, you're seeing someone and you're not sure, it's probably not right. You yeah. probably don't really like him. You're just doing it for other reasons. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And I think that's, uh, I got to figure out my dating goals because I don't know what I'm looking for. I love for. it. Keep it going yeah. because I love watching. Oh, I'm things. excited for you guys. Oh, yeah. I, I know. You guys need a spinoff. Your podcast in New York City is going to be great. Oh, that's so exciting. You guys are going to thrive oh, and thanks. we love you guys. And thank you so much oh, for God, coming on the show. You. Thank you guys. Um, you love being the here. Family Stallone premieres on Paramount Plus yes. May 17th. Yeah. We are super excited. Everybody tune in. These ladies are great. And thanks. we are so happy for you guys. I love oh, you guys. Go check out the Times Square billboard. Ooh. That's what I'm so excited about. Yeah. We're going to go today. We're going to walk there and go um, see it. You got to take pictures in front of it. Oh, we're going to do that. Like tourists. Oh, <laughs> yeah. God. Everybody needs that picture. Oh, so, yeah. Thank you guys so thank much. You. Thanks, guys.